Hi friends, welcome to my channel. In, in previous sessions, we have discussed how to read the data and how to insert and update the data in ASP.NET Core by using edivo.net. In today's session, we are going to perform delete operation in ASP.NET Core by using edivo.net stored procedures. So in previous sessions, we have created all the stored procedures to perform the CRUD operations. So this is the list of operations we have performed. To read the data, we have created one stored procedure and uh, to get the data by ID, we have created another stored procedure. This is the ESP which we are going to use it for insert purpose and this is the update stored procedure and finally this is the delete stored procedure which we are going to use it in this session. Here we are going to pause the ID which is primary key for the employee table. This is our employee table. So this is ID is primary key. So we are going to pause primary key as a input parameter. First, before performing the delete operation, we are going to check whether this ID is valid or not. For that, we are checking the row count. If there is any data available in the table with this ID, which is given by the user, then we are going to perform the deletion here. And also we are catching if there is any error, we are going to roll back the transaction. If there is no error we are going to commit the transaction here first we will create a method to delete the data from database for that i am going to reuse update method before continuing this session please watch my previous video which we explained about adv.net and how to read the data insert update data and all we have explained in the previous sessions please watch previous videos first so this I am making as delete method and here we no need of passing entire employee model because we are going to pass ID parameter to delete the data from database. So we can remove all these parameters since we are going to pass only ID parameter as a input. So we are going to delete remaining parameters here. I am going to pass only ID to delete the data. Once this query is executed we will get number of rows affected that is 1 in our case we will get it as 1 then if it is 1 then we are passing as true that is record is deleted true otherwise we will send it as false here now we will implement this method in employee controller I'm going to copy these two here because it is similar to update functionality so I'm going to copy the edit functionality I'll make it as delete here so based on the ID we are going to get the data from the employee table if ID is 0 then we are going to display the error message as employee details not found with the ID which is given by the user and we are going to redirect this to index action method that is index view if data is available then we will return to delete view if there is any error, we are going to show the error message from the exception. So here we are going to create another action method for delete confirmation. So once it is confirmed, then only we have to delete the data. So this is the action method which we are going to use it for view purpose. This is the action method which we are going to use it to post the data to the data access layer here we will receive the employee model here we no need to validate any model state here i can remove it here here i can check for delete now so here i can pause it id alone if result is false then we are going to display as unable to delete the data if it is success then employee details deleted this is the message which we are going to display to the user and if there is any error here then we are going to display in the error message with temp data so we will create a view for delete now right click on the action method add view
here I'm going to make it as delete I'm going to remove and here the delete design we are going to use it from our previous example which we used for code first approach I'll copy it from here here I have to change the project reference and my model name will be employee so this is the title we are going to display to the form that is delete employee and if there is any error message we are going to store into the variable as error message and we are going to display in the bootstrap alert here so this is simple form which, which we are going to use it for delete purpose here we no need of this margin bottom I'll run the application so there is some error here okay we can't use already we declared ID here so we can't use it as ID so we will make it as can make it as deleted row count here after executing this non query we will get number of rows affected that will be one in our case because we are passing only single ID so that one record will be deleted and we will get it as one I'll run it now click on employee master so this record I'm going to delete now click on delete so based on the ID it is displaying the employee details here suppose I'm making ID as 20 so employee details not found with ID 20 so I'll delete again now click on delete So it's redirecting again to delete here we have to change it here we have to change action name also because it is here we have provided as delete on post it's redirecting to delete so we have to change the action name also here it's going to be delete I'll run the application again first we'll check the employee details which are available in the database first So currently we have two records we are going to delete the record which is having ID 2 go to the employee master click on delete we have disabled all the values here we no need to edit the data here that's why we disabled all the controls click on delete so here we have not changed the stored procedure name because this is again I will click it here so this is still exist as update employee we have to change the stored procedure name here go to the data access layer here we have to update our stored procedure name so this is stored procedure name which we used for delete the record I'm going to paste it here I'm going to delete this record now click on delete so this is the record ID is 1 
so this is the record which we have id 1 click on delete employee details deleted currently we don't have any employees here we can create another employee click on submit so employee details saved again we will try to delete this record click on delete this is record which we are going to delete click on delete employee details deleted we will check the db we don't have any records here so like this we can perform the crowd operations in asp.net core by using adio.net that's it for today if you like this video please like and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching